Hey there, Miss Nicole. Oh, I can't even hear you. What are you doing? You you don't sound. Can you hear me now? It was unmuted. Can you hear me now? Okay, there you go. There you go. How you okay. doing? Happy oh my God, I'm so tired. Happy New Year. And so you told me that you were out of the country for a while. Yes, yes. I had the most fabulous New Year beginning. Um, I just got back from Dominican Republic. So we all brought in the New Year in Punta Cana. Um, so I'm like in the recovery mode right now, but I'm still working. So I cannot wait until that clock strikes 530 so I can go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we got any sleep this weekend. Maybe five hours total. <sighs> okay, okay. So you said you, you don't know what's going on in D.C. because you just got there. So just tell us what you did in Punta Cana. What were you yeah. doing on New Year's Eve? Yeah, so it was amazing. So it was a group of 15 of um, of us friends, it, you know, girls and guys. It was They're just an amazing group anyway. Um, so we decided, well, someone decided they wanted to, we should bring a new year out of the country. Why? I don't know. During COVID, I don't know. Um, but um, so anyway, yeah, so we brought it in on the resort. It was so beautiful. Like we were out on the beach. They had um, the, the hotel, the resort had like a stage and, you know, a performance and uh, the fireworks and the music. And we did the countdown in Spanish. So that was pretty cool. Um, you know, I had never done that before, of course. So yeah, we just had a ball. We popped our bottles, our champagne bottles on the beach and we were in the cabanas all night um, until I guess we passed out. So that was New Year's Eve. So that was amazing. And then I think the day after that, we were all so tired. We just like kind of, you know, did a beach day. And then after that, we went to the third day. We had a, we rented a private yacht and, you know, it takes you out in the middle of the ocean and they serve you drinks and lunch. And, you know, you can go in the, uh, we, you know, we were dancing on the boat and we were dancing in the ocean. So it was just so beautiful. And then after that, we also um, did dune buggy rides. We went to a cave where we did cave diving. Um, and then we ended one of the two nights ago, we did dinner in the sky. And that was another amazing experience where they take their, you know, they set the dinner table and you're literally eating it. I guess it lifts you up on some sort of crane and you're like a hundred feet in the air. Oh, and so you're strapped. Yes. You're strapped to your seats, like almost like a roller coaster, like how they would strap you in a roller coaster, basically. And, um, there's, there's nothing like on, there's nothing keeping you in really really like your sides if you look to your right and look to your left you look down to the ground oh my god uh, You're yes out of me. yes yeah so at first I was like really nervous and everything but once we got up there what it's not move once it's up there it's not moving or anything um and so yeah they they served us like a four course meal and they had a bar and you know it was just and they had great music so it was almost like a party in the sky but you're in your seat because you have to be strapped in of course um but it was just amazing amazing so yeah we just had it was just you know when you go with the right people it's just always going to be a great time and so yeah we really enjoyed ourselves so right. now i think we're gonna have to do a yearly tradition of like um you know somewhere fun or uh, maybe your new year's i might have to pop in there with you guys one yes. day. But, but yes. i'm not doing the dinner it. in the sky because i i me and height <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you have a fear of heights, X? Oh, my. Well, you know, they really say it's not a fear of heights. It's a fear of falling. Oh, well, that's, I guess that's true because that would, that's the fear. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, the, the heights, the, the height is not going to hurt you. Not the, the problem. The fall <laughs> is going to get you. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get you every time because I was trying not to like look down to my left and my right too much because I didn't oh. want to feel dizzy. But um, I was like, yeah, it's not a good idea to like wear glasses up there. Or um, I, I don't know what they would do if it was windy or raining. Maybe oh, you just wouldn't go. Girl, yeah. No, yeah. Just, <laughs> my, just talking about it and, and imagining it is giving me a little anxiety. So that yeah. would not, I would not be able to eat. Yes. And I definitely should not get drunk in the sky. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You definitely don't want to do that. Right. Like, yeah. One of our friends, he couldn't make it for that very reason. Um, well, he wasn't drunk. I think he may have had a little too much 420. And um, yeah, that brother, 
we, yeah, he passed out before we even, he could get up there. I said, well, yeah, you, it's not a good idea to be under anything up on that thing. <laughs> oh my God. That just, <laughs> it sounds beautiful. And like, what an experience. Yes. Once in a lifetime type of thing. Like if, you know, once you do it once, you may not need to do it again, but it's right, definitely. Right. <laughs> I would have to go on graduated cycles. Like Take me yeah. 10 feet up first. Let me get you right. that. Maybe 20 feet up. The next no, that time. might be worse because the way they do it, you can't even really, you don't really feel once you're in, you don't even really feel that it's moving up. And maybe they did a, we had a, an amazing like host or MC. It was the woman and she was so high energy and funny that maybe we didn't even notice. I think her personality maybe distracted us from realizing that that thing was moving up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it was like, wait, we were just on the ground. Now we're all the way. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, well, that sounds quite interesting. So, yes. not, not to not to dampen your energy, but you do you have any updates on your incident? Oh my gosh, no. So I have to um, follow up with my lawyer. Probably do that tomorrow or Monday. Um, oh, also while I was in Dominica Republic, though, my I, my Instagram account was hacked. So that really kind of like threw me off because I'm like, dang, I got all these cute pictures. I can't upload them now. Oh. Um, so I have to. Yes, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I have to reach. I, it's like I feel like I need to know someone that works at Instagram because all of the little ways they recommend you get your account back online are not working for me, mainly because the hacker took. They basically reset the pro the password and the phone number to be linked to them. So I can't even like do a password reset because it's now linked to them. Oh. Um, but all of my friends were like texting me and calling me. So they I told them to report it. You can report the page as someone you can say someone is impersonating someone else. So I noticed yeah. Instagram must have gotten a lot of those because they took the whole the whole page is now gone. Yeah. Like if you that. type it in. My Instagram oh, was hacked before? once before, about a, a couple oh. of years ago, though. Oh, and I had everybody, because everybody was like, did you blah, blah, blah? Yeah. And so yeah. then they started reporting it. But then yeah. the person made a whole nother page with my name what? and picture. What? what? They No, they didn't. How did yeah. you find that piece out? Because then people were like, okay, so did you open a new page? I'm like, uh -huh. I haven't done anything yet. I'm still... Uh -huh. <laughs> So eventually <laughs> that other page got shut down and I was able to get my first page back. How did you get it back? That's the question. You know what? It's been a couple of years ago and I don't actually remember. Uh, yeah, because it's such a weird process. They, you know, there's a few different things that it tells you to do. So yeah. it took your page down, though. Your original, the, the Instagram, once your friends reported it, it did take it down. They took the imposter page down, yeah. Yep, oh, okay. So I think that's the stage that I'm in with them. I think that's what Instagram is doing for me now. But I now just have to figure out how do I get the page back, the original. Right. Yeah. And they'll they'll send you information. So are you um in Facebook jail right now? Yes, I'm in Facebook jail right now. So I can't post from Facebook. I can't post on <laughs> Y'all are just trying to make me not post till the end of January, which is my birthday. And that's when I'm gonna have to flood everybody with everything I wanted to post now. Right. You're gonna have to do a TikTok video. <laughs> right, right, right. A year in recap. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. That would be cool too. You know, everybody yeah. those sisters has been doing that. They've been doing those exactly. 2021 recaps. So uh, yeah, maybe this gives me time to work on that. <laughs> I, I know you don't have, I know you don't have any idea about movies right now. Um, no, not really. Yeah, because you've been uh, definitely enjoying life, yeah. looking at the boob too. But what about a little celebrity gossip? What we got on that front? Mm, I'm trying to think what I have heard since I've been kind of away. Um, what's his face? Oh, Tristan Thompson. He um. He's the ex, well, boyfriend. I don't know what he is. He admitted that to, of paternity to the ch the child. He was dating Khloe Kardashian, and they have a child together. Um, so he was it's kind of denying that this woman was pregnant with his child. But of course, the paternity test revealed that she it's his. So he put on his Instagram story. He's the dad, and he's sorry to he said, "I'm sorry, Khloe. You don't deserve this." Blah blah blah. Um, How many kids has he had since they've been together? Um, well, I think he, well, he had one woman, I guess it's her karma. I think he had like one woman pregnant when he got with Chloe. 
So he had that child, he had that boy by the ex. Then he left her, I guess, pregnant, got with Chloe. They have the daughter. And then now he has another son. So I guess he has three. Okay. But yeah, I think he likes to overlap. It looks like he likes to overlap relationships and children a lot, huh? And it just seems like the women that he gets with doesn't seem to care if he already has a woman. Is this, what does this dude look Ooh. like? He is, I mean, he's not all that to me, but he is an NBA player. So I guess it's that whole thing. Hmm, I see. You know, I don't know. Maybe he's very charming. Sometimes we can't see it, but then, you know, the guy's like very charming. But yeah, I don't know. Okay. But I don't see it. He seems immature too, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's apparently having unprotected sex with everybody. Mm, everyone, <laughs> literally. <laughs> right, right. So that that's always a bad thing. Mm. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, that's always a bad thing. You know, you just get everybody like that. Yeah. Then, then then they'll be talking to complaining about child support. You know. Exactly. Like all you had to do was wrap it up, and you would not have this issue at all. That's all he had to do, but I guess he just doesn't learn his lesson. You know, it seems sometimes like men in general just don't like contraceptive. They always blame the woman. It's like the woman always. has the final decision anyway. And I'm like, it's. do you realize that without sperm, no baby can be made? <laughs> right. You do have control over your life, you know, right? right. As a man. <laughs> That's like the bottom. I'm a pretty bottom line kind of person. I'm like, if you didn't add sperm to the mix, there would be nothing else to talk about. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Right. Exactly. So, but yes, I don't, you know, they just get really dumb and stupid when it comes to that and reckless. They, they definitely do. Well, I am so glad that you made it back for your first show. And so next yeah. week, I know you have all kind of great updates for us, or maybe not because Absolutely. it's winter time. And oh, so let me ask you about this. I don't know what you know about it or if it even affects mm -hmm. your vacation. What about this new mandate? Have you heard about this new mandate? Uh uh. What's that? Oh, yeah, they, they're trying to lock us down here in Chicago, girl. So um, what? What you, you cannot go to any facility that serves um, food or beverage. You can't go to the gym. They say you can't go to some grocery stores. I've not encountered that if you're not vaccinated and you have to show your vaccination card and an ID. Oh, no. Well, they're probably doing that in D.C. Actually, I think they did say Mayor Bowser was shutting some th venues down. And I think, um, yes, I did read or hear that certain restaurants in D.C., yep, you're going to have to show the card and everything. I think New York is already kind of doing that. And, and that's think. for children five and over. They showed a video of this little boy because the kid wasn't vaccinated he, and they were at a restaurant. He was with five adults, but the kid wasn't vaccinated. The police came in to remove the boy from the restaurant. Oh, oh no, that's ridiculous. How could, how, why would you do that? That's okay. It broke the mandate. And so then all of the adults had to leave as well because you're not, what you going to do? The kid get put out, the adults girl. have to go. Exactly. He can't, what is he going to stand outside by himself? Exactly. And so oh, um, they're wow. saying, they're saying that I know here in, I, I just got back from Milwaukee. So on my way to Milwaukee, oh. the last thing I heard before the radio station went out was that um, Illinois people are protesting. Um, because it's a violation of their rights and it, it's just crazy because you can't go to the gym you can't go to the restaurant you know so you, is it all of them or just like certain ones you can't it is supposed to be all of cook county which includes chicago oh. and some of the suburbs you know counties extend past cities right so, yeah so it's cook county and um that includes all of chicago and some of the suburbs and oh, so, yeah, it, it's got a lot of people up in uproar, you know, because, listen, if you can't go to the lockdown, grocery store, basically, and, and it's, 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 it's not even just the people complaining, but the businesses, because, you know, they just got back off of the lockdown from 2020 and started exactly. making a little bit of money again. And now here this comes because people, if, if I'm vaccinated and my guy is not vaccinated, I'm probably not going to the day right. that kind of stuff without him exactly. so we're gonna do stuff at home exactly and it's like i don't know what the answer is to all of this mess because it seemed like within the last two weeks everybody i know has caught covid well some variation i, I think maybe it's the omicron variant i don't know but a lot of people i know got sick 
within the last two weeks now. It doesn't seem, the people I know, it, th their symptoms have not been as severe as the original wave of COVID, but, um, you know, they still had to like quarantine a little bit. And, and But um, yeah, literally everyone I know was sick two weeks ago. Well, a lot of people I know have gotten yeah. a cold. You know, I don't know if this variant is just a lot weaker. And That's what they're saying. It's more contagious, but like weaker. It feels more like a cold, they said. Yeah, because uh, I had a cold. Um, I did. A lot of the uh, radio personalities had colds. You know, we, we all mm -hmm. went through the cold. Everybody I know pretty much has had a cold as well. Uh, but we right. just figured it was a cold. Um, my girl right. got tested and we had been hanging out. Uh, for a few days and she went and got tested but hers was negative so i'm assuming so we just, cold. Um, maybe had a cold you know probably a cold and it's also around here in maryland you can't it's it, it's it was so hard to even get a test like you couldn't really walk into any off you know doctor's office to get one the appointments at cvs were like booked a week in advance wow. so you almost can't even test yourself well they're doing it seems like they're selling those home testing kits a lot of people have been doing those i don't trust those at all okay. um they said they were even, you know, so I, I don't, I trust it. I don't trust it more so even just for the use. I, I attribute it to user error. I'm like, how do we know the person is swiping their nose properly? So I don't even trust those. But, um, and they said it's generating a lot of false positives, a lot of false negatives. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So the here, home in, here in Chicago, we have um, actual drive through testing stations. Oh, we did, we did last winter, but I don't know. Maybe they they probably do have it still here now. I'm sure the line is around the block. The line is around the block. So I went to the one with my girl. And so there's like four lines once you get up in the testing area. Oh. But the cars were way down the street. Yeah. I'm just like, this is really crazy. But it was right before New Year's Eve. And a lot of places That's required why. that. You know, in order to get into the parties and stuff, you had to either have the Vax card or a negative COVID test. Yeah. My, one of my good girlfriends, she's stuck in Ghana right now in Africa. What? Yep. yep. Because you know, in all of in in all, well, in order to enter back into the U.S., when you leave these foreign countries, you gotta you have to have a negative COVID test to come back in the country. Like I, we had to take one on DR on the resort to come back to the U.S. And so she, hers came back positive, even oh. though she's exhibiting no symptoms. Oh, well, she's virtually asymptomatic. She had no idea because she felt normal, but she had, you know, she took the test so that she could leave. And it's, she's been stuck there now, I think three days. And no, has it been five days yet? I don't know, but she's been trying everything to get out of there and just can't. She even retested the re a few days later and is still showing positive. Wow. So is she going to wind up there for two weeks or? or the, I don't know. She Because she didn't bring her work laptop. So, I mean, she's probably oh supposed God. to be back at work. She said that uh, there's something where if you have like a letter from some sort of doctor, sometimes you can bypass it. But I don't think the airlines are accepting letters from doctors because some of the, the people I was with in Dominica and DR, they were like, oh, we have... The letter from the doctor, but when they went to upload it to the, the check-in for their airline, it said, nope, you need an actual test. Wow. So I don't know what she's going to do. I just feel so, you know, so bad for her. Wow. I do too. Well, I hope she makes it back. because So is she having to pay for her hotel while she's there? Yeah, I need to ask her that. Who's taking care of that? Right. Is that... I mean, probably. And I mean, the messed up thing is she, I mean, well, the one good thing is she really likes it there. Um, so, you know, I guess if you had to be stuck somewhere, it's nice to be stuck a place you like. Right. But the bad thing is she's supposed to be quarantined. So she, it's not like she can go out and walk around. Right. So she's stuck in a hotel. And I'm stuck in a hotel room that, by herself. Hotel, that she's hotel, probably paying for. They're, they're probably not inexpensive. So that's an extra expense that you necessarily <laughs> hadn't planned for. for exactly and how long does she need to stay like you said right. is it first the quarantine was 10 days but I, I think it has been shortened to five okay 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 well you know she, i mean even still, her through, yeah i've been checking on her through whatsapp every day like are you okay okay can you leave today like what's that happening could be a whole extra thousand or fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> and you have to eat too easily easily i can i can only imagine how much that is costing and don't forget, she, that means she couldn't make her flight. Oh. So how she she can't even book a flight really in advance because 
how does she know when she can get out? Oh my God. And that mm -hmm. Lord only knows what that's going to cost. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually, I, she had called me from there. Um, and I was like scared, like, oh my gosh, she's calling me from Africa. Something's wrong. So anyway, she was calling me because her original flight had gotten canceled. She couldn't get onto the Wi-Fi. So she was asking me to look up some alternative flights for her, which I we, we did. So we were able to book her on another flight, but now she couldn't even, she missed it. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. That is the experience from hell. Mm -hmm. Okay, lady. Well, it has been good doing this show, which felt like a phone conversation. Yes. <laughs> As always. <laughs> and welcome back to the U.S. and all of the craziness that you're going to encounter as you move yes. forward. We're, yes, we're getting snow uh, tonight again. It snowed while I was gone real bad. 95 was backed up for 24 hours, they said. Dang. So, um, yeah, people were- 24 hours? <laughs> Yes, people here were on 95 for in Virginia. And I think this happened in Virginia and they lost a lot of power out there. Yep, because of some snowstorm that came through a few days ago that I missed because I was on the beach. <laughs> I'm so jealous that you were on the beach. I was I am going to have to spend New Year's Eve on a beach. Yes, yes. And it was amazing. We dressed up too. That was the cute part. We were all dressed up on the beach with no shoes on. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> If I were to uh, ever get married, that's where I want to get yeah. married on a beach at sunset. I love yes, that. I always thought that was a beautiful marriage venue yeah, too. That's mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do. If I, if I ever do it again, you'll get an invite too. And yeah, that's, that's yeah. where we're going. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to the beach we, at sunset. At sunset, yes, absolutely. I love okay, it. lady. Well, you go ahead and enjoy your uh, first second day back from vacation. And, okay. Uh, when you're, we'll see you next Thursday for yes, what's hot. with the tea with what's hot in DC. I'll know by then. All right, the tea on what's hot in DC. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Talk to you okay, next week. Okay, sounds good. Okay, yeah. bye. Okay, bye bye. All right. So, if you would like to be a correspondent on the what's hot segment and do what Nicole just did on Thursdays and share upcoming events, celebrity gossip, movies to Netflix and chill with, or a good book to chill with on a cold day. Connect with me at Xavier Fox at XavierFox.com. We definitely have an opening for someone. Visit my YouTube channel, Xavier Fox Media, and click subscribe so you don't have to miss any of the upcoming podcasts, and you can watch my talk shows and podcasts you've not seen yet. If you would like to connect with me on social media, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and LinkedIn as Xavier Fox. That's X A V is in Victor I A F O X. Xavier Fox. My book, The Men in My Life and What I've Learned, is available on Amazon in Kindle format and paperback. And you can also purchase an autographed copy on my website, XavierFox.com. Be sure and visit my website for information on all upcoming shows and events, as well as merchandise, such as t-shirts and coffee mugs. Bet you didn't know I had that stuff, huh? And I hope you enjoyed today's show. Tune in tomorrow for the first Friday with two of the hottest personalities on the show so far. Mr. Khalid Scott, his show is called Relationship Reflections, a discussion with a marriage counselor. And yes, he is a licensed marriage counselor. And he is going to talk about the psychology of an affair. I can't wait for that. Uh, then attorney April Prayer will join us with her legal show. You may have seen her on News Nation, ABC7, NBC5, CBS, and or Fox. Uh, she has a monthly show right here. And she'll discuss all the latest legal news and always open to answer any questions from those who Zoom in. So until tomorrow, stay safe and be prosperous and I'm out.